Well, coming up this weekend, Sunday, a big day. We pull all our clocks off the walls. If they're not the smart ones, turn them back and then enjoy an extra hour of sleep. But for our kiddos, the change may not be so simple. Aron Spitzer speaking with a sleep expert about what you should keep in mind for the first few days following the time change. Joining us now in studio, Aron. Michaela, the reason younger kids may need more time to adapt is the fall time change can cause younger kids to crash before bedtime and wake up earlier than usual in the morning, which I'm sure is very very, very fun for parents. Dr. Alice Hoagland, the director of the Insomnia Clinic at the Rochester Regional Sleep Disorder Center, tells me that getting used to the time change is very much like jet lag. She says a one hour difference, like if you were flying to Chicago, isn't so bad, but anything more like the three hour difference from here to California may take more time to get used to. By and large, this is a little bit of an easier time change for kids uh, coming up. The, I think the only thing to remember is that Every time there's a time change, it takes two to three days for your brain and your body to get back onto a regular schedule. Uh, so probably by Wednesday, most kids are going to be on track. Daylight saving time ends and clocks roll back Sunday at 2 a.m. Michaela. All right. Thank you, Iran.